Hello friends, this is Adam with MovieGuy365 and today I'm going to review the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook of How to Train Your Dragon 3 The Hidden World. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit and hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365. How to Train Your Dragon 3 The Hidden World 4K Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. Quite a mouthful. Um, yeah, uh, obviously, I, I just love these movies. I was a big fan. They just released the 4Ks of the first two movies just a couple months ago. And then Steelbook shortly after that, after that initial release. And I had, even though I purchased the slipcover editions to review for the channel, I had to get the Steelbooks. I thought they were gorgeous. This one is absolutely no exception. Just front cover there, back. And then as you open, nice interior artwork. Uh, big fan. Big fan of these movies. I think as far as, you know, these are not traditional kids movies. And I think, honestly, that's why animation doesn't get a huge enough adult audience. Is because a lot of adults think that these movies are just made for kids. While to a large degree that is true, there are several movies, you know, just look at any kind of animation outside of the Disney in, and there's there's you know companies that do adult kind of in animation it's not so much like sausage party stuff that's just you no know, but I'm talking just you know more adult themes and and that kind of thing character development and I think how to train a dragon is definitely falls under one of those these movies are made with such care and I would say even reverence because they bring in real talent, not only to voice, but to, to animate and to direct and to write. And heck, even Roger Deakins, who's a very, very famous cinematographer in movies that you have seen, even though if you don't know his name, he had a hand in the visual style and direction that these all three of these movies have embraced. And it's just, they're, they're fun. If you want a good animated movie that's just not, oh, like, you know, talking little bears, that kind of thing, these are good films. They are. They deal with a lot of adult subject matter, but they, they make it accessible to kids of all ages. So, those are my feelings about the movie. I think it's excellent. Now, as far as the HDR and the audio goes, the HDR, as with the first two releases, is absolutely stunning. Now, I've been critical in the past of animated films and how much 4K and HDR really can enhance. Now, there are several, several examples uh, movies that don't look like they benefit a whole lot. And then there are other examples that I feel that they're just complete night and day from their Blu-ray counterparts. I would say this falls definitely in that camp. It looks amazing. Uh, while the 4K itself is very, very, you know, enhanced detail, it's the HDR that just makes this color palette just explode. It looks awesome, but without being too quote-unquote cartoony. It still has a very filmic look to it but the HDR color palette looks really great. There's several instances, even from things like the, the scales on the dragons themselves, the uh, clothing, the set pieces, as far as you know where the, the action is taking place. There's a lot here for HDR enthusiasts to enjoy. It looks very, very well done. It's, it's definitely what a 4K slash HDR picture should look like when it comes to animated. I feel movies like Hotel Transylvania 3 are just complete just explosion of color that you know it, it's good but i i feel that the happy medium is something like this it definitely has a more film kind of look to it i think if you've seen the first two in 4k you know what to expect but i think it because of the 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 advancements of animation it goes up even more a couple notches it just it looks spectacular in my opinion it's i would say visually a definitely a reference quality disc as far as what 4k and HDR animation can do I you know I would say the closest equivalent would be The Incredibles 2 by Disney and Pixar but I think this even surpasses that look in my opinion looks fantastic audio wise we are given a very very good Dolby Atmos it, it sounds amazing I think you definitely should have the surround sounds on for this I think you would lose something if you just you know listen through the speakers on your TV. Even a sound bar would be a nice happy medium in my opinion, but while the surround sounds are given a lot to do in action scenes and music cues, ambient sound not so much, but 
you know, I, I don't think it's necessarily in this. I don't need to really hear in an animated movie, you know, when they're on like Burke or some uh, some of the other islands. I don't need to hear, you know, you know, crickets chirping, that kind of thing. But what you do get is action scenes are very, very immersive. You get a lot of good musical score, you know, that accompany those scenes through the, the surround sounds. They sound really, really good. It's an overall very, very robust track in my opinion. The LFE is given quite a bit to do from here and there. It's not constant, but hey, you know, dragons are on screen, action's happening, you're gonna get some action there. So yeah, dialogue is crisp and clean, no issues there. Overall, I absolutely recommend it. I would highly recommend you hunting down the Steelbook. It just, I love it. I think it's a beautiful, touching picture. It goes well with the previous two Steelbooks. They, they all match really nicely. Uh, I'm going to post some pictures up on my Instagram account of the three of them together. So if you want to get a good sense of how they look, go ahead and check that out. Let me know in the comments, have you seen How to Train Your Dragon 3 and are you picking it up in 4K? You very well should. I should also mention there is a 3D scheduled to be released overseas. Yes, I will be importing that one and look for a review in the coming months whenever that's released. But let me know in the comments what you think of the movie. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.